hi what's up guys going let me show you two major ways to level up your design in 2023 without further ado let's step into it so right now let's go ahead and just you know uh create an object on top of this you know uh picture so let's go ahead and just create object with the help of uh what's it called you know rectangle tool so let's go ahead and just change the uh, color to lemon click on yellow then you hold control key down your keyboard then you tap a little bit of green into the there's a uh, into the object so right now what you're gonna do is to go ahead and uh, look at transparency tool and go over to uh, this place and change the uh, <coughs> blending mode to uh, let's look at color bond good so right now what you're gonna do is to make it a little bit lighter or better still let's use color bond uh, color bond so right now what you're gonna do is to go ahead and just you know let's it a little bit so right now what we're gonna do right now is to go ahead that's the first one so let's go ahead and convert to bitmap it's okay good so right now the second step right now is to go ahead and create you know uh, a blurry plastic uh, uh, effect on this image so before you do that let's go ahead and make a copy of this layer so what we're going to do next to go ahead and center it within the first picture in which you copied from so let's go ahead and locate uh, blur so let's click on blur so automatically changes the appearance of the picture it makes it look blurry so let's hit ok so right now let's create you know an object on top of uh, a particular area in which you want to have a test so we want to make it look uh, plastic sort of so let's go ahead and just you know create an object right at a portion in which we want to add our test so here it is right now so let's change that to y so that we can see what we are dealing with so right now what you're gonna do is to go ahead and just back clip the blurry uh, picture into place let me show you how to back clip that so select the object then you locate you know back clip then you place inside frame select that automatically you snap into the object put out key select the image and adjust release your out key then you adjust uh, the picture just like so good so right now so we'll even see what you are dealing with let's right click on white then you set that line to white so right now what you're going to do is to go ahead and uh, select your uh, shape tool then hold control key let's drag this part inward then likewise this angle hold control key down then you drag it in good so right now what you're going to do is to go ahead and just uh, make a copy of the layer then on appear the half line of the previous one so what we're going to do is to uh, extract this content delete that then you go ahead and on appear the on view the uh, inner part then you go ahead and right click locate you know uh, you look at frame type then you uh, click on remove frame type automatically removes then hold uh, shift key down then you select the uh, the previous object then you hit C to center the uh, 
other object on top of it so right now what you're gonna do is to go ahead select the uh, the object that has a, a white outline then you right click on it convert to curve so after all of this so what we're gonna do is to go ahead and just you know so what we need to do next right now is to go ahead to our uh, shape tool let's you know uh had a node right here double click then you had a node right here double click so after all of this let's go ahead uh let's click on this angle then we would click on this portion right here break cough automatically breaks then you double click to delete some part of the line that we don't want double click automatically so now appear no click so right now at the end of the day we resorted to this so right now what we are going to do is to go ahead and just you know let's go ahead and uh, it on have 12 let's make it a bit thicker so let's make it you know six that six is too much let's make it you know a uh, three so after all of this let's go ahead to object then you locate you know convert of light to objects automatically converted then you go ahead and just click right here double click to an appear the dots then you right click to uh convert to straight line good double click this as well then you right click on the line convert to line likewise this angle over here double click then you right click to convert the outline to a straight line likewise this angle double click then you right click to convert to a straight line automatically can you see the result of what we created so far so right now what you're gonna do is to go ahead and just convert to bitmap convert to bitmap then it's converted already let's go ahead and uh, look at you know uh, effects on the menu then you look at blur then click on feather good can you see that so let's eat okay can you see the effect right there so let's make a copy center to then the previous one then we we'll go ahead again go over to effect then you locate you know a blur then you go ahead and click Gaussian blur this time good so right now let's try and bring that down a little bit so can you see the effect of that you know glowing uh, effect right there a bit you know glowing just like so can you see that adjust that a little bit good it's okay so right now can you see that can you see the effect so let's make a copy of all of this then copy to the other side then you go ahead and fill it in uh, to this angle good let's adjust it to <coughs> the perfect good can you see that so let's go ahead and just create you know a drop shadow right there to add a depth into it so let's go ahead and just you know make that a bit darker, darker 80 then you go ahead and look at you know break drop shadow apart automatically it breaks then good right now can you see the 
two major aspects of transfer of transformation in this are uh, our designs. So after all of this, we will now go extra mile to have the our tests and uh, all of that. So let's just go ahead. Let me just uh, type something. O point one. Then let's go ahead and make a copy. Artificial, artificial, artificial intelligence, intelligence. So let's see in the font. So try John. Likewise this let's change to try John. Then you go ahead and reduce all of this. So let's go ahead and just transform that just like so. Then you reduce you know vertically. So it control K make this artificial a bit bigger good so let's use a uh, shape tool to reduce the tracking just like so then adjust it just like so so can you see that can you see the perfect you know our uh, design that we did so let's zoom on this plastic area so here we come to the end of the tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel by clicking on the button below subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button so that other people can benefit from what we have shared so far see you in the next video bye for now